In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the features available under the Options tab of the Mentor Globals. First, we have the Environment section. This allows you to create a core environment node. This is a lot like Maya's image based lighting node, however, it gives you more control over specific environments for features such as final gather, reflections, and refractions. Next, we have image based lighting. This is a feature that was recently introduced into Mentoray that has not been exposed in the Maya interface. This allows you to generate a ray traced light from your environment. Next, we have the global environment light. This allows you to generate ambient light from your environment and does not do any ray tracing, so it's very fast to render. This is the feature that I've used in this scene to generate indirect light. Next, we have ambient occlusion. These settings control the ambient occlusion options for all shaders in the scene. We can also specify the amount of occlusion applied to ambient light and direct light. The advanced occlusion options. We can control whether the occlusion is visible in features such as indirect, reflection or refraction rays. We can also change the mode between mental core and mental ray built-in occlusion. The mental ray built-in occlusion supports occlusion caching options, but does not support features such as occlusion transparency. The indirect illumination section allows you to control how much indirect light is in your scene and also apply occlusion to the indirect light. And finally, Light Bloom allows you to create glow effects around highlights in your scene.